Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root the Samsung Vibrant and Captivate. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, so like that in the address bar, and search for how to root the Samsung Vibrant Captivate procedure. Okay, before you begin, you need to download and install Microsoft's.NET 4 framework. So I'll click on the link there. Click on download. Start download. Save it somewhere. And then run it. And follow the instructions to finish installing that. Okay, once you've installed the .NET framework, you're going to install the Samsung drivers by clicking on the Samsung right there. And then click on either 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on what kind of computer you have. Then you'll click download. And then secure download. Download that file and save it to your computer. Okay, once you save the drivers to your computer, you're gonna right click the .zip file that you saved, extract, or extract all. And once it does that, we're gonna open the folder, open the USB drivers, and then at the very bottom, we're gonna double click the setup exe. Hit run. And then follow the on-screen prompt to set up the drivers. Okay, now on your phone you're going to go to settings, menu, settings, applications, development. You want to make sure USB debugging is checked on. Click OK. Once it's checked on, you can hit home and we can continue. Okay, next thing you need to do is you need to download the one-click rooting program uh, created by TGA Gunman either the Captivate one or the Vibrant one, obviously depending on which phone you have. So we have a Vibrant here, so we're gonna click on that. Download that and save it to your computer. Okay, next we're gonna plug the phone in by a USB cable. So plug it in to the top there. Make sure it says USB debugging connected there. Do not click the USB connected button and mount the SD. We're gonna leave it just like this. If this is your first time plugging in the phone, uh, you should get a whole bunch of these pop up and say that everything is ready to use, especially the one that says composite ADB. Uh, that's kind of important. So, so long as that all came up, you're ready to go. Okay, so we're going to take the vibrant one click root or the captivate, depending on which phone you have. Uh, that's it, and we're going to extract it. Once it has its own folder, we're going to open that. Then we're going to right click the T Mobile Vibrant One Click Root.exe. Obviously, if you did the Captivate one, it'll say ATT Captivate One Click Root.exe. Either way, we're going to right click it, run as administrator. If you have uh, Windows XP, then there is no option for run as administrator, just double click it. Then we're going to click the button, One Click Root, and you should have a command prompt pop up and uh, wait for it to do its thing. Okay, once this pops up, it says press any key to continue. Don't press any key. You're gonna read what it says right up here. Once you're in recovery, click the volume down button, blah, 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 etc. So we're gonna look at the phone and do these two steps. Okay, so a little bit after that screen popping up on your computer, your phone should reboot into this mode. We're gonna use the volume down button to select reinstall packages and the power button on the right to select it and wait for it to do its thing. Okay, once you've done that, you should be able to click on Applications and then swipe over either the first screen or the next one. Uh, you'll see Super User Permissions and the little ninja guy there. If you have that, that means we got root access and you're ready to go. Optionally, if you'd like to load a custom ROM, just click on the link at the bottom of our procedure that says how to load a custom ROM on the Samsung Vibrant Captivate uh, and follow that procedure so you can flash a custom recovery image and then start flashing ROMs.